question um, on my original uh, statement from uh, the tablets uh, the summary that I mentioned earlier. It was actually Tech Radar. I've now found the link. Um, that will be in the show notes. It, it wasn't seen this. Um, I saw the article as well. You... Yeah. Um, so that'll be in the show notes. You can take a look for yourself. Um, yeah, well, if Tech Radar is uh, connected to the, uh, uh, what's it called, Tax, tax Radar, which is uh, Linux format in some sense, it's the same people running the site. So uh, very often when you see columns there in, in Tech Radar, well, the first thing you'll see is some very pr- provocative headlines, something like, oh, why the Linux desktop is dead, or, you know, oh, Ubuntu is betraying the community here. And, and they always have this very weird, I suppose the editor just wants some attention by going for emotion of the readers and stuff, but uh, the the thing is, a, a region, a, eventually you will find it's usually columns from people who write the uh, Linux format magazine, which is a British magazine about uh, Linux mostly. And one which I believe you appeared in as a guest uh, interviewee. Yeah. <laughs> and I think modesty prevented you from mentioning that. A few, few days ago, I was in another interview in a different site, and I got some good feedback on that, uh, which I wasn't quite expecting. But, yeah, that's... Uh, awesome. Well, we'll stick on the subject of CNET for a little bit because just a very quick article and maybe um, one that sort of counterbalances the the allegations of uh, a bias albeit very little. Um, it's talking about browsers here, and it's now claiming that Google Chrome is now used for a fifth of all web browsing, and Internet Explorer is in decline. Um, so, yes, I don't know if you read this article, of Roy. Um, basically, it's saying 13... I wrote the today to some... Uh, but I think, do you know, uh, they mentioned this company that I've not heard about before, unless it's just a surrogate name for something else that's providing these numbers, and the first thing I thought was, is this for the United States? Like, I, I don't really think China would use Chrome so much. I'm just, just guessing slightly here. Uh, it just sounds a bit dubious, because I don't think they were even close to 20% uh, until recently. Well, I mean, we have to be fair here, because I certainly don't put a lot of uh, strength into stats, so regardless of the fact that it's showing that Internet Explorer is in a decline, and Internet Explorer is something that I've certainly been critical it's of. Fine, it's just a question of what scrutiny they have to pass, and with these companies all they have to do is just show you some really nice kind of 3D effects and stuff on the charts, and they say, wow, look at it, it's so great, you know, it looks so good, and they say, oh, it must be true. Well, it's, it's not, you know, it's not Hollywood, and it's not like Fox News or whatever, they, they have some nice effects too, but uh, stats stats would be fine, but you have to ask them, how, what, what, what's your date and what's your method? And if, if they say 20%, I, I can almost assure you it's just, it's, 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 just, it's, it's bunk. It's just, may, maybe the truth is something around 10% globally. I don't, th- I, I don't hear if many people use Chrome. I mean, I, as you know, Roy, I'm, I'm a Chromium user, um, and I could not go back to using Firefox now. Uh, I, I jumped on the Chromium bandwagon quite early on in its uh, development and suffered with a few few of the teething issues and uh, etc. But now um, I, I could certainly not go back to Firefox. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Firefox. It's a it's a great piece of software. Well, I always uh, throw you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's a figure of speech in a way. <laughs> well, it, it, yeah, obviously it, there is something wrong with it compared to Chrome. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, I, I couldn't. Uh, I certainly couldn't leave Chrome now. I, I almost dumped Firefox a few days ago, <laughs> and uh, I wrote about it very briefly. Uh, and eventually, I kind of, after wasting half an hour, I managed to kind of make some make something out of it. So now it's just like a full screen browser. I barely have any widgets in it on, on purpose. But uh, I went, I went, I went towards the opposite of what it, it used to be: absolutely full of bars and things like twenty plugins enabled and stuff. And when I went to Firefox 5, lots of things didn't work, so I, I was pretty upset about that, and I said, oh, screw that, I'll just remove everything except two things or three things. And so far, it's it's an interesting experience, because I think m- all, most of the time we just accumulate things which we consider to be good tools to work with. Uh, so I, I know that people used to browse with just like, you know, back in the days, Internet Explorer or Netscape, or, mm. and we didn't really have this notion of toolbars until like the late 90s, maybe, or... Uh, and then we got all these extensions and link shorteners and uh, toolbars for search, uh, you know, right built into the browser, which didn't exactly used to exist, I, I think, uh, many, many years ago. 
and then uh, people start to have these these thing called tabs, and and then they have status bars with things, and uh, so, so we usually move forward by having more and more and more tools in our box. But at some stage, the box is getting so full of stuff that we cannot find what we're looking for, and 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 that's the point where I think Chromium actually capitalized on this to an extent because they offered something very simple, which uses the uh, screen state a bit better uh, than, than Firefox in some stent, in, in some sense, and they start to simplify even the uh, showing of the address bar, uh, removing the uh, HTTP part, and uh, in some cases I, I suppose they are also going to make the uh, address bar disappear. I mean, I in my browser now I make it disappear, so I, I don't really have to see it. If, if I do want to see it, I just click some uh, accelerator and I, I see that. But so I'm, I'm just trying to, to make it thinner, the, the browser. Uh, I think just about any browser you would use, after a while actually opening quite a few things would take like half a gigabyte of RAM for static pages, you know, for pages that don't do anything. And that's just that's just really weird design. And they compete so much in speed, so they put everything in memory. They put all your recently visited pages in memory. I'm just saying, no, 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 don't do that. I need some RAM. Just leave RAM and get them back. So. That's sort of inspired me to keep an eye on the Chromium uh, footprint size now because uh, I haven't actually monitored it much more than when I was doing a, a simple comparison between some of the browsers uh, probably about a year ago. And for my regular use, I've never really kept an eye on how much it's uh, hogging up of the system. Admittedly, it's ne- I've never noticed any uh, performance decrease, so I don't expect it's taken up that much. But uh, I should really have a look at that. Maybe I'll write an article on the, on the usage of it. Um, we'll do another... We'll do another section before uh, we have a quick uh, music track. And um, this is a good one. It was one I discovered a few days ago, and I think hopefully it'll be a talking point. You might not have been reading into this, Roy, but hopefully you'll, you'll certainly have an opinion on this one. Um, US calls for extradition of UK web pirates. And this is from eWeek Europe. Um, pirates? Yes. yes, pirates, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, um, UK pirates in particular, and web pirates. Um, basically web. What's hap- pirates? Yes, web, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the the US is looking to extradite uh, piracy criminals, and I'll put that in inverted commas, um, back to the US who are, well, who have domains, uh, dot com domains, and uh, using them to facilitate or host copyrighted material. Um, I don't know if you have a have an opinion. Oh, on this. copyright infringement. <laughs> yes. Okay. I thought you. I thought the men pirate. Eh? <laughs> well, well, I have was, actually. Was this from a tabloid or something? <laughs> well, I actually have a very good take on the on the piracy subject, um, written by a consummate professional who is a porn star. I'm going to be bringing that up in a different show, so uh, I'm going to put that to one side for the minute and just stick with what the US. Do you, you mean a different show, as in a different episode, or do you mean a different show <laughs> that talks about porn stars and things like? Yeah, that? it it could be both. It could be both. It's um, I think we've briefly discussed it. I'm going to be bringing this up as a talking point on my solo effort, mm-hmm. um, which is going to be a lot shorter and uh, just covering certain issues uh, around copyright, etc., etc. So we won't harp on about that now because it's a tech bites uh, show. And um, yes, yeah, so they're going to try and extradite uh, back to the US anybody who's infringing copyright with a .com or .net domain. Now the thing here, um, we've seen recent recently we, the US has made several attempts to extradite cyber criminals in inverted commas again uh, to the States. Uh, Gary McKiernan yeah. uh, is, is one of them mm-hmm. um, who hacked the Pentagon computers. Now, uh, I think we discussed this probably in the earlier shows of Tech Bytes, and uh, one of the sad things of this story was that uh, this gentleman, Gary, he wasn't doing this for any financial gain or any sort of untoward uh, objective. He basically believed, and people have their own opinion on this, that uh, the Americans had information on aliens, and being autistic and being uh, convinced that the Americans had information on aliens, he tried to break into an... Sorry? From illegal aliens? No, no, we're talking about little green men. And and unfortunately, uh, this gentleman found found himself the wrong side of the law because he was... Trying to well, he, he broke into the American, uh, I believe it's Pentagon, um, looking for information on aliens, and uh, that then started a massive uh, political uh, debate and uh, a campaign against uh, taking him over to America. Should he be eligible or have the potential of getting a 60-year sentence in the States on the basis that the, the poor chaps uh, got autism and he was looking for aliens? 
Um, so that, yeah, that was... I, 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 uh, although I support the guy and I've written extensively about this, I, I always wonder, you know, you always, you always have those crackers or, you know, uh, more harmless, you know, hackers or whatever you want.